Hey, crypto people, this is Ty. This is part two of a video series that I've done for Kix ICO called Kin. If you haven't seen the first video, please check it out. Um, that video kind of goes more into the reward system and how you actually make Kin and how the Kin will actually work. This one is going to be more into the nitty gritty of how that blockchain is going to work and then how many coins are going to be issued and how they're going to do that. So if you haven't seen the first one, definitely check it out. Now the ICO begins on September 12th and then you must register three days before. So you must register by September 9th. If you're interested in this, I would just go ahead and register for it. During the ICO, they are going to be selling 1 trillion coins and they're trying to raise $125 million with the 1 trillion coins. Now, keep in mind, there's actually going to be 10 trillion coins eventually in circulation. So the ICO is only going to be 10% of that $10 trillion. If they raise the entire $125 million, you could effectively say that it would be kind of worth $1.25 billion. Now, keep in mind, that's not what the market cap's going to be because how they're putting coins into circulation is a different matter, and we'll go into that. So let's first look at the technical part of it. Uh, how it's going to work, uh, they're going to work actually on the Ethereum network, which I think is a great call. But there's a couple problems they foresee with the Ethereum work network is the transaction time. They're approximating that Ethereum network is 17, sec 17 seconds on the transaction time, could be 30 seconds. And that's not fast enough because with the mobile platform, you really need to have pretty much just absolute instant transaction times because nobody people might kind of freak out if they send some kin and it takes 30 seconds to approve and the other problem you can see right here is the ethereum blockchain requires fees to pay out on every transaction which is not optimal for micro transaction payments if you're sending one kin and it's worth like 0.1 cent and then you're paying fees that's just not optimal right now um, so what is kick gonna do about this they're gonna do what's called a on-chain off-chain system so essentially that the ledger will be centralized within kick they're going to carry the ledger approve the transactions that way what that's going to do is it will make it allow them to do instant transactions and then avoid fees per the transactions um, and then also says avoid stress on the public network due to large transaction volumes so I think that's a pretty good idea and they really kind of needed to do it they couldn't rely completely on the Ethereum network so they will carry the blockchain ledger in order to accomplish that now, one thing I do think is pretty interesting is as Ethereum, you know, Ethereum might be forking soon and the technology will get better and better. And what they want to eventually do is actually have a fully decentralized system. And so eventually that, you know, the system could be completely decentralized depending on how Ethereum's technology goes. So I do think that's pretty cool that they're get eventually want a completely decentralized system now going into what's going on with these coins how are they being distributed um, just kind of go down here uh, now the there's 10 percent that goes to the ICO and then there's 60 percent going into what's called the kin foundation and then that leaves remaining 30 percent that 30 percent goes to kick uh, it doesn't really specify and i don't think they really need to of what they're going to do with those coins so the ceo and some of the 
the employees may get some and then they may, may hold it just in reserve for kick uh, but essentially 30 percent is going to kick you've got to keep that in mind which with the 10 percent of the ico i don't know it's kind of high i don't know what, what i really think about that yet um now with the kin foundation within a percentage of that they have a kin rewards engine and how that's being distributed is or what actually it is is they're going to incentivize new users and users and basically kind of give out tokens they haven't really specified of how they're going to give out tokens but it could be okay hey like maybe like kind of like a badge system hey you do this you get this coin or you watch this video and get these coins they haven't really specified how they're going to do that but could be pretty cool and they're not going to give out the, all those coins at once how it's being distributed is the reward engine is going to distribute 20 percent of the coins each year so the first year will be distributed the most coins and which really encourages early adopters and you could you know if, if you first get on the platform they're probably going to have all kinds of promotions where you could get kin coins so i would whether you invest in the ico or not you definitely should download kick and then try and get and see if you can get some kin coins so the first year is going to be the most and then 20%, 20%, and it's just going to incrementally go down of what they're going to invest or go out with the reward engine. Um, now with the Ken Foundation, 5% uh, of those, which is 3% of the total market, will be used for operations and marketing. So marketing with Kick and probably educating users how to use Ken which I guess is pretty normal. Um, like I said before, the allocation is one trillion is for the ICO, one trillion out of the 10 trillion. Three trillion will be allocated to founders of uh, Kick, or I'm sorry, just Kick and the founding members of the Ken. So it kind of looks like it will go to some of the employees, higher ups with Kick, and we'll see. I don't think they really even need to disclose how they're going to be using that three trillion. Now, keep in mind that that three trillion is not released instantly to Kick, and we'll kind of look at how that's going to be released as well. Uh, the remaining six trillion is going to go into the Kin Foundation uh, for the rewards engine, uh, marketing, and then operations cost. Now, the 30% is going to, here's how it's going to be distributed to the kick or the founders. It's going to go at that 30%, 10% per quarter. This kind of talks about how the reward engine, how they're distributing on the reward engine, what it's going to look like. Now, the token circulation what that's going to like is you got token sales so this is 10 percent so this is a trillion tokens and then after three months you've got the kin foundation where they're going to distribute that to the kin foundation and then 13 percent goes to the goes to kick and then i guess six percent it says kick ops and I'm, i guess that's operations and then after year one, you've got 35% in the foundation, and then a little under 30% for the ICO, 24% for kick, and then operations. As you scale, it gets more expensive. Year two, you can see that, and then year three. So at year three, you're looking at 15% of the coins is going to be for that ICO. So it definitely kind of dilutes that fairly quickly i kind of wish they would wait longer than three years but i, I think the coin could be up in value pretty quickly so anyways i hope hope 
that wasn't too confusing. I explained that okay. But that's basically how the tokens are going to be distributed and how that's going to happen. I, I think they did that pretty well. I wish that there's a little bit less than 30% of the 10 trillion going to kick. I wish the ICO had more than just 10%. I wish it was like maybe 30%. I'm definitely interested in this. I don't know if I'm going to invest yet, but I'm definitely going to be on the messenger app and seeing checking it out to see if I can earn kins. Uh, now also keep in mind that this is the first mainstream company and Kick is a multi-billion dollar company that are, is doing an ICO. So this is regardless what happens with the price, this thing could be extremely interesting. And this is not Kick's first rodeo. They had kick points and they've done a lot of testing. You can look at the first video, it talks a lot more about that. So, anyways, I hope this is educational and it helped you a little bit on the ICO. Definitely do your own research, check out the white paper. This was just kind of a scan of it. And if you have any questions, please put them in the comment field and subscribe.